Okay, here we're going to do an integral that requires u substitution. Now, this this one's a, a slightly simpler integral. Um, this will be a good video to watch if this is one of your uh, first uh, encounters with u substitution. Uh, so, before we even begin with you know starting with u substitution, how how do we even know that we're supposed to use u substitution versus some other integration technique? Well, there's one key indicator that kind of is a, a big flashing red light that tells us that that use substitution is probably the technique to use here and uh, and that's the word composition composition is when you have layers of functions where you have an outer layer and then an inner layer inside of it this happens a lot with like square roots where you have the square root of something else or trig functions like sine cosine or tangent of other things um, exponentials where you have uh, not just like e to the x but maybe something in the exponent and what gives it away here is I see a power on the outside and I see an expression on the inside so that right there is what made me think ah, this is probably a u substitution problem so if it is if we want to go that route then what we what we do is we have to make a decision on what we think u is now u is typically chosen to be the inside of this composition. So wherever there's composition, the reason you thought this was u substitution, we take the inside and try that as the u. Um, now there are exceptions to this rule, but a good nine out of 10 times is typically the, uh, the inside of two composed functions. So if this is a u, then we are, if we're going to change everything from t's into u's to do the substitution, we also need du. To get the du, we'll differentiate this expression, which will be 4t cubed dt. All right, so now it's time to swap everything out and actually do the substitution. So this right here would be the same as the integral of this part right here being u, right here underlined. That would make u to the seventh u to the seven that just looks better it just looks a lot better um, now i don't want a mis mismatch of terms i don't want u to the seventh and then other terms in terms of uh, t like 4t cubed dt but i noticed something 4t cubed dt is the same as du those are the same thing so i can take those out and swap those with du so now this would be much easier to integrate um, integral of u to the seventh integrate that with respect to u and you get u to the eighth over eight plus c. All right, so that's kind of your answer. All right, that is the correct integral. There's just one problem. The problem is, is that this original integral was written or expressed in terms of t. I don't want to leave my answer in terms of u because the only reason that's u is by a choice that I made to let u be t to the fourth plus one. So it's an easy fix for our, our final legitimate answer we would take the expression u out and replace it with whatever it was you know back back here in terms of t so u if you look right here u was t to the fourth plus one so i can take that u out and plug in t to the fourth plus one so this is called either the indefinite integral of 4t cubed times t to the fourth plus one to the seventh or you could call it the antiderivative of this expression so that's the basic idea of u substitution. But basically what you do is you take a, an ugly integrand that oftentimes has composition. You write it in terms of u. So aesthetically, it looks easier. You integrate it in terms of u. And then you bring your answer back into the original independent variable t or x or, or whatever you had. So I um, hope that makes u substitution a little bit more understandable.